In Germany, on September 30, 1929, Fritz von Opel flew a rocket-propelled glider launched from a cradle which reached a speed of 100 miles per hour in the first flight by reaction propulsion. On September 2, 1930, Captain Duodin Cost and Maurice Ballant took off from La Bourget Airport in Paris on a non-stop flight to New York in a single-engine, two-seater biplane nicknamed the Question Mark. Due to intense headwinds and bad weather, their 37-hour flight used 1,000 gallons of fuel. On May 27, 1931, Auguste Picard ascended to 51,700 feet in a pressurized cabin lifted by a balloon. It had previously been impossible for a human being to achieve this altitude because of lack of oxygen. On June 23, 1931, in the United States, the American ex-parachute jumper Wiley Post and the Australian Harold Gatty undertook for the first time in an aeroplane a trip around the world. This was done previously by the dirigible Graf Zeppelin in 21 days and four hours. On the first leg of the trip from the U.S., Post and Gatti landed at Le Breger Airport outside Paris, having made a safe crossing at an average of 130 miles per hour. At Tempelhof Airport outside Berlin, the two pilots were received with the same enthusiasm as were Chamberlain and Levine four years earlier. The two men continued their trip across Russia and the wasteland of Siberia. Facing storms, fog, and bad weather, they continued their flight under the worst possible conditions and in sub-zero temperatures. At some points, they had to reach altitudes of 16,000 feet in order to cross the mountainous barriers of Asia. Their airplane, a Lockheed Vega, the Winnie Mae, was sponsored by Mr. Hall, a petroleum magnet. It covered 15,500 miles in eight days, 15 hours, and 51 minutes. On their final lap at Winnipeg, Canada, they received an enthusiastic welcome by many dignitaries, among them Colonel and Mrs. Charles Lindbergh. As part of war reparations, Germany gave the United States the dirigible Graf Zeppelin, which entered service in the United States Navy in 1924 and served for 15 years. It was renamed Los Angeles. Its length was 721 feet, and it carried 2,460,000 cubic feet of helium. This dirigible made 331 training flights for a total of 4,320 hours. Because of its unusual capabilities, the United States constructed two more dirigibles named Akron and Macon. These dirigibles had a capacity of over 6 million feet of helium and a length of over 852 feet. They were propelled by eight engines with 560 horsepower each. These dirigibles could each carry five airplanes with a range of over 6,000 miles at a speed of 95 miles per hour. Each airplane was hooked up to the dirigible by a special trapeze under the hull, and the planes could be released or rehooked at will while the dirigible was in flight. The Dornier DOX airline super flying boat of German construction has a separate place in aviation history. Because of its comfort, it was a yacht more than an airplane. Equipped with 12 motors in tandem on the wings, with 525 horsepower each, it could fly at a speed of 150 miles per hour. The motors could, if necessary, be repaired during flight. A team of six mechanics had access to each of the motors through a narrow corridor. The 60 passengers had a space of 54 square feet each. There was room to dance. The meals were served on china dishes, and each passenger had a chair and a bed. There were no safety belts. The only restriction was that the passengers remained seated during takeoff. This 40-ton airship had a crew of 16 men, half of whom were exclusively for the well-being of the passengers. 
The first flight from Germany to the United States took place in September 1931. Unfortunately, the high operating costs, the many motors, and the synchronization problems put an end to this experiment. On October 23, 1934, pilot Francesco Agello succeeded in bringing the absolute speed record back to Italy by attaining 440.5 miles per hour. For five years, until March 30, 1939, Agello retained the speed laurels. His plane was a Maki Castoldi, MC-72, powered with two water-cooled Fiat 12-cylinder engines, one behind the other, with reciprocal air screws of 2,800 horsepower each. <laughs> 